hear you when I'm back on the prowl. You bitches better have my money. Okay, I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be dyeing my hair orange and I'm going to be doing blonde skunk stripes. I've already pre-lightened my skunk stripes like a month ago. So now I'm going to go in and lighten them or tone them basically. Um, today, I'm using Clairol Textures and Tones and Flaming Desire. And after we process that in the blonde, then I'm gonna put the Adore Sunrise Orange and Cajun Spice together. Um, already pre-mixed my dye. Um, my mom's gonna help me do my skunk patch in the back. Um, welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. If you hear stuff in the background, my mom's on TikTok. So the bleach I'm using today is the L'Oreal Quick Blue. Um, and I'm using Clairol Developer Level 30 Pure White. I've already based my hairline and my neck and my ears. For the bleach, I got this little set from my local beauty supply. It came with two brushes and a bowl. Um, I will probably mix my bleach up once I got um, some of my dye in my hair. And for the blonde patches, I have Shimmer Lights and the Plex Treatment number two. And then this is just so you don't have any breakage and it makes your blonde patch shiny so it doesn't look dull. And I also have um, Shimmer Lights shampoo. So what I'm gonna do after I mix my bleach up is put a drop of this, like a really tiny drop because you want the blue tones to cancel out the brassiness in the blonde like how my hair is now. And make sure that you have some neutralizing shampoo once you wash everything out. Um, I'm going to speed up this part of the video while I'm dyeing my hair and then I'll come back once I start bleaching my hair. I clearly did not follow my own directions, but I would just like to say my hair is virgin other than my blonde patches. I cut my hair off a few years ago and have regrown it out to this point. Um, so my color is taking well because all of my dark hair is virgin. But if my hair were processed in any kind of way, I would have started from the ends and then gone to the roots. Um, but see, I did it here and then, yeah, you know. But it's just, yeah, I don't follow directions. But don't be like me. So now I'm about to mix my bleach and I'm going to do it on camera so you can see the process. I wish I had my gimbal so it could hold my phone and I could just point it down. But I think I can get it this way.
supposed to wear a mask when you mix bleach. But if you don't have one, just don't inhale me. So you can see this bleach is already has a blue undertone to it. So at a max, you want to leave this on for 40 minutes. Anything outside of that's too long and you're going to burn your head out your head. And you probably don't even need it that long. And my hair is already pre-lightened. Okay, that's how much. I just put the whole pack in there because one pack should be good enough for my front patch, my side patch. I mean, my back patch and then my side burns. Um... So developer. So for one package, you're supposed to do one and a half fluid ounces to two fluid ounces. If you're using 20 or 30 volume inside of here, that says one and a half. You'll see one and then the half is that little line right under the two that you can barely see. And actually, I might pour a little bit less because I don't like my bleach to be runny and then it'll be going everywhere. As long as it's mixed well, it can be thicker. So I'm going to pour it into the line and then I'm going to pick the camera back up. So this is probably about one fluid ounce. Um, I didn't do the whole half ounce because I want to see how thick it's going to be. So I'll mix it up and then come back and show you what it looks like. So this is a good consistency to me. Um, I'm going to put a little, like literally a drop of the Shimmer Light Shampoo because we want to cancel out those yellow and brassy tones completely. So that's good. And that's even, even a lot. I'm going to mix it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, it didn't change the color much, but this is how it should look mixed up now. You should have very minimal lumps because you want it to be as smooth as possible when you put it on your hair. So um, I'm not going to be able to record my back patch, but I will show um, me doing my sideburns and then the patch in the front. Oh my 
shorty, oh, oh Yeah, and I had to tone that down every time they be right And you know, you know You the baddest thing I seen on the wall Oh, my shorty, oh, she old Kill that when you were 16 I do the reaping I said murder Play the big B Get the black and blow the car Get the boy J, I got those six rings Six ass shots for the corner Tell them that we ain't use no bang Mike Wilman Got a nigga, but get out of her body, cause who I am Bad. She fuck me with her eyes and bite her lips saying Zam What really made me like her, she ain't do too much like Pam One night she cook for me, next day I'm blocked on Instagram Damn, oh. let me find out that she did me like I do these hoes Or committed to old boy, trying to play her role Drum. So much go past, I ain't talk to her, I ain't seen her so, Asked her how she been, she like I'm outside and I'm singing So, so you know I spent the block, shot my shot like we do ops When it's off, she get it rocked, wake go fuck, then go shop splurge. And I don't care about who had it before me, it's my goal my They dropping salt like she a hoe, so she my hoe If I violate first, no doubt she gon' violate worse get back. If it don't work out, I guess it just ain't our time I'ma probably show you I'm solid first And if the energy ain't right, I'ma show you how easy it is to cut ties No more tries, no You can't do what you wanna do. I just ain't going for it. <laughs> she go from one nigga to the next one, moving around fast. Don't let her do it. She just do that, think it make me mad. Stubborn, aggressive, possessive, and jealous is more than that. Alright y'all, so this is the end. My hair was lightening up pretty fast, but I ended up leaving it on for like another 20 minutes. I'm just showing you a little close-up of what the color is looking this like. This be the next day as you can see. Um, this is before I got my hair blown out and cut, but I still have curls and texture. Alright y'all, this is the reveal of my hair on TikTok. Um, I got it blown out. I got about an inch cut off. She gave me a roller set. Then she blew out my roots and recurled me. And then she asked if I wanted a pin curl or wrapped. And I asked her to wrap it for me. So this is me taking it down, doing a little 70s hair flip trim. You know what I'm trying to say. But that's my skunk stripe. Everything came out really even and a lot of the same with a lot of dimension. And then this is just another clip. Um, Follow me on TikTok. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment below if you have any questions, concerns, if you need any more details, any questions about the products that I use. Thanks for watching and share my video. Um, this is a really easy color to do. I've been doing this.